soul of the Thai nation. As the king arrives at this temple to pay respect to an old monk, respect to his purity and peace, the noise of the spotter plane, reminder of the king's constant danger, of Thailand's constant danger, grows louder and louder. How important is Buddhism for you, uh, the precepts of Buddhism in, in your daily life as king? Buddhist thought is rather complex and has many grades. That's the grade of uh, Buddhism in the highest level is to attain absolute purity, which you call selfish, selfish, selfish uh, motive, and that is true, it is selfish, purely selfish, but to attain this purity, you must do everything that is not selfish, which for you perhaps is a paradox. One must sacrifice must discard everything that one thinks that is one's own. Charity is one way to discard. How important is meditation as a part of this, this process? Meditation is a process that is very important because but first you must have concentration. You must concentrate your mind so that you have a peace that is uh, perhaps uh, not lasting, but a peace in which you can you can uh, see many things. To have the peace, the real peace, and then with this peace. Will, you will be able to see very clearly. Usually my husband would come in earlier than I would and meditate, really meditate, because he could control his breathing and he could really concentrate. But I cannot uh, concentrate and meditate yet. I'm learning. I only pray. But my husband said it's all right. That that is the same thing as meditating. Is it possible to, to be a practicing communist and uh, a sincere practicing communist and also a sincere practicing Buddhist? What do you call sincere practicing communist? The man who believes in communism. The man who wants to be on the top. A man who sincerely believes in a communist principle of uh, doing things. We have sincerity is difficult to to define. You be, may be sincere, but you may be wrong. So I don't know what is this word sincerity doing here. Uh, practicing communist, usually the one who practices politics in any doctrine wants to get them on the top. If you think of Buddhism, one doesn't want to be on the top because there's no top, there's no bottom. It's just pure purity. I'm never afraid for my life because I believe in what the Buddha taught us that never dwell in the past, never look at the future, doing your best now and then you can be sure that the result would be 